Well, there's no way I can adequately describe what the blues is overall. I mean, obviously, it's on the one hand an art form, a very specific, historically developed art form by African Americans, bequeathed to the world uh, from African Americans, um, that begins as um, a, a, a very open and accessible cultural space for the sharing of the lived experience of being a black person in the modern world. What does it mean to live in extraordinary contradiction where your life itself is understood as either direct property or the transcendence, the, the, the uh, extension of direct property and the containment of that spirit in the biggest democracy in the world. So that contradiction where the idea of free individual sense of opportunity, uh, egalitarianism, stands in stark contrast to the vicious mistreatment and dehumanization of your people. What kind of music comes out of that? That's the blues. Um, so as a historical form, um, the blues articulates that in a very accessible and grounded vernacular way. Um, but the blues is also a way of addressing human suffering uh, in the broadest sense. In that sense, it's not an art form that has to have a particular time and place, but it's a way of dealing with those contradictions. Today's black comedians are some of our best blues artists. When you think of the way their comedy, Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Wanda Sykes, the way they take the absurdity of the situation and comment on it, address it, reveal it, but then give you a way to think about it that helps you laugh but also have a little distance from it. Like, man, isn't this something? I can't believe this situation. So you're in it, but you're not in it. It doesn't consume you. Um, and then that bringing laughter is crucial. You have to be able to laugh. Uh, I mean, it's just so ridiculous. You know, you run out of options. You'd be crying all the time. So um, I, to me, there's plenty of room for this tradition to grow and change. But we have to hear it. We have to hear that spirit outside of the expected circumstances and outside of uh, you know, the typical musical avenue. Every musical genre to come after the blues is indebted to the blues. I don't think there's a single major African American or black diasporic art form, but especially African American, that doesn't have some relationship to the blues uh, as it was developed. But I think hip-hop does have a special relationship for a couple of reasons. One, it has that same collective, vernacular, everyday life storytelling impetus. It's driven by telling your particular story. Again, when it's at its best, when it's really speaking the collective lived experience of, of the community out of which the artist comes, it, it, it carries that vernacular truth-telling power, that aha uh -huh moment that, that I talked about that where you just feel that gritty truth. Um, what has challenged hip hop and distinguishes it from the blues is that um, what hip hop has to grapple with is the internalization of a kind of market culture ideology um, that the blues largely historically critiqued and stood outside of. And so now there's so much opportunity to participate in the market that that, that that kind of dream space to imagine, you know, a beautiful place where there's justice, where there's love, where there's possibility um, is harder to, to, um, to, to see in hip hop. As it's there, absolutely, but it's not as celebrated or as touted. As, as it could. But that fundamental spirit of this is an absurd situation and I'm living in it, uh, that, that is, I mean, hip-hop very much reflects that, that aspect of the blues.